What's up, race fans? I'm Trevor with Maxima Racing Oils, and there's three things I can guarantee about Mammoth Motocross. Tensions are high, the wind is high, and the elevation's high. Follow along for some ins and outs of what happens at Mammoth Motocross. How strong is the roaring wind? Strong enough to lift those porta We refresh all these every night. Sorry. With air fresheners and SC1, cleanest toilets on the mountain. Oh my God. Porta potty approved. Maxima SC1. We have the Nickway keys to the race. Well, every mini dad wants to show up with a brand new tire. We got a we got a cement start gate. So we're we're maybe the first time rubber meets the road with Maxima contact cleaner is we catch some contact cleaner on that brand new knobby. Let's get the silicone off. Maybe wire brush it, then head to the gate. There it is, keys to the race, contact cleaner. One of the rumors going around, one of the tech tips this week is contact cleaner on the tire for grip on the start gate. Can you comment on that? I don't know what you're talking about. That's news to me. He's been using contact cleaner on his kid's tire in between motos. Says they're getting a little bit of extra hookup out of the gate. What's your comment on contact cleaner on the tire? Well, for AMA racing, it would be illegal. Illegal. What you're doing is illegal. But here they probably don't care. But it is something that back in the day guys did, and it does help on concrete starts. Nick, one guy can vouch for you. All right, we're here. OGO booth, Mammoth Motocross. I'm hanging out with Pilo. Rumor going around this week. I want your comment on it. We've talked to a few people. Contact cleaner on the tire. They're not changing tires as often. They're using the same tire, spraying it with contact cleaner, rubbing it with a wire brush. They're getting super good hookup out of the gate. Can you comment on contact cleaner on tires? Contact cleaner on tires, huh? So you're gonna put contact cleaner on the tire, brush it all off, and then do your burnout? Correct. Yeah, no contact cleaner. That's, a, that's. A, I mean, I, I love Max the contact cleaner, but that's like kind of the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Sorry, Nick. Straight up. Sorry, oh, Nick. That, oh, Nick Way does it? It probably works for him. I guarantee it works for him. Things pretty. I common. might try the contact cleaner though, <laughs> just since it works for Nick. So disregard anything I just said. Uh, just a disclaimer: I have not done that one time this weekend. I'm on a hazardous mat here anyway. It should be fine. Try to get all of the loose dirt off, so when we're doing burnouts up there, it's no problem. Can't wash bikes in the pits, but you can bio wash in the pits. Not saying I got it under control at all. I got, definitely, if anybody has any pro tips out there, let us know. How else do you use your bio wash out here at Mammoth? The further you pack your kids line up the hill, the better start that they're that they're going to get. Walk me through a little bit about where you're at on packing the dirt after the gate, and who holds the current record for furthest gate packed up the hill? I don't know, but generally when you have uh, a deep crew, that's when you can get a, a far gate pack because there's not a lot of time up there, right? As we know. Um, as an next racer you sell yourself, you understand that sometimes this gate pack is more mental. And so especially for Diamond, I want him to feel loved so we get the whole squad up there. Um, so the whole family? Yeah, Bring everybody every, out? Everybody. You got five feet, you got the next five feet? Yeah, somebody figure out their zone. Okay. Where are we at on shoe choice for packing uh, the gate? I'm pretty much strictly Air Max 90s. Perfect. I'm a 90s kid. So you're not one, one boot, one shoe? Hey. Works on everything. First gear start, second gear start, who knows? All that really matters is if contact cleaner's on that tire. Oh, good jump by the 2.5, look at that line! Come on! Was a pretty good looking start there. We got a little bit of work to do on contact cleaner. The higher you get, the better you can see. Let's go find out where the best spot to watch is. Some sort of black hole you got to get through here. I don't know if there's a password. They had a few guys standing out front, but I'm making my way through the black tunnel here. We'll see what's on the other side. Welcome to this series of short videos to help you manage shortness of breath. Oh my gosh, another tunnel. <laughs> We're in the middle of the tunnel here. I don't know what, 
I don't know whether to continue on or go back. There's a lot of shade in here. It's kind of cool. Of course, this tunnel's shorter than the last one. Hey, buddy, be careful in the tunnel. <laughs> Okay, I'm on the search for the best spot to watch the races. How much does this spot cost? Uh, I don't know how much it costs. So far, a couple thousand. So far, a couple thousand? Yeah, you, guys, you guys having a good time up here? Oh, yeah. yeah. So far, best spot I've seen yet. Check this spot out. Taking a selfie? No. Oh. Looks like this is the end. But I can see everything from here. All right, we're looking for cell phone service here. This place is like a black hole. Thanks, SLR, for letting me stand all over the top of your trailer here. I can't confirm there's still no cell phone service at Mammoth Motocross. All right, I'm standing here with Kevin Kelly. We're actually giving this Tacoma away for the whole shot winner of this moto, but I got a quick question for you. This is my truck, so you guys didn't clear that with me, but whatever, it's, it's got plenty of miles on it, they can have it. Sprinter van 4,786. If you don't have one of these, do you even race? Wait, wait, hello? Hello? All right, we're hanging out over here at Pro Circuit. I'm with Mitch Payton. Mitch, you're over here, you're tuning bikes, you're doing your thing, cracking throttles, helping everybody out like you always do every year. How are the eardrums holding up after all these years of tuning two strokes? What's that? How, how are your ears after all these years tuning, tuning two strokes? They just ring. What do you got to say about this here? What do you got? What do you think? What do you think? Good, bad, good. They just ring. So I don't. They're fine. They ring. But I don't think it's. I mean, if they got the time, there's no time limit. And they want to keep on going. And, and if, I mean, if little Johnny or little Lily Davis hits that thing. I think it would work, man, because I've had some nice packed gates here, and I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of in for it. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. And, I mean, we're racing. We're at 8,200 feet. Why not just go? I mean, we're, we're contact cleaning tires. And then, I mean, we do that for, what, two inches? Hi. I want to go over uh, learning to measure with you. and learn 18 inches? Maybe. If you're lucky. Pack the gate. Leave the contact cleaner at home and pack the gate all the way up and around. Go for it. All right, Go so last question. But the percentage is like 5% to Johnny staying in. Dad's probably never even ridden a dirt bike, never raced here for sure. Yeah, he doesn't know. Nick knows his stuff, but I guarantee you that guy packing up around probably doesn't know you cut across right there. And you, yeah, he doesn't know. Me, when we're talking five-star motocross food, we're talking Mammoth Mountain motocross. We got hot dogs, we got sushi. We got tri-tip or something pretty close to it. We're gonna dive in, see what the food's all about. It turned out the line was a little bit too long for me, but a couple of the kids behind me gave me some leftover fries and half a Coke, so I'll catch up with you guys on the review later. Dang, Mark. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, that's gonna be a wrap here at Mammoth Motocross. A uh, few things I can confirm, SC1 saved a lot more than just the bathrooms around here. Parking is still an absolute disaster. Um, bears everywhere, heard the tunnels, they use them as hibernating caverns during the winter time. I don't want to be here for that. Uh, we're looking forward to next year.